Hello friends, let's begin with numerical on cubic spline curve. In this, we will learn some of the examples. And if you understand the basic concept of cubic spline curve, you will easy to solve. First example, a cubic spline curve starts starting point P0 16, 0, end point P1 3, 1. The tangent vector from end point P0 is given by a line joining P0 and P2 14, 8. The tangent vector for end P1 is given by line joining P2 and P1. Plot harmite cubic curve. So P0 is 16, 0, P1 is 3, 1, P2 is 14, 8. Remember 16 is x and y is 0 for p0 for p1 x is 3 and y is 1 for p2 x is 14 and y is 8 so we have to calculate p0 dash and p1 dash so p0 dash that is p2 minus p0 so 14 8 minus 16 0 so p0 dash is minus 2 8 so x will be minus 2 and y will be 8 for p0 dash. p1 dash. So remember for first case p0 dash, p2 is the end point of a line and p0 is of initial point. So final minus initial. In p1 dash also, p1 that is end point while p2 is the initial point. So it's a p1 minus p2. So final minus initial. Final point is P1 and initial point is P2. Remember that is the difference. So 3, 1 minus 14, 8. What will get P1 dash minus 11 and minus 7. So first we have to solve the parametric equation for x coordinate. And then we have to solve the parametric equation for y coordinate. How we solve it? By using equation. So Px of u is u cube u square u in 1 multiplied by the matrix 2 into p0 minus p1 plus p0 dash plus p1 dash minus 3 into p0 minus p1 minus 2 p0 dash minus p1 dash p0 dash p0. So in this case p0 is 16 for x p1 for x will be 3 then p0 dash will be minus 2 for x p1 dash will be minus 11 for x coordinate only we have to take x coordinates remember ok in last also you have to remember we will take all the p0 p1 p0 dash and p1 dash again i am repeat here p0 as a x coordinate we consider 16 p1 for a x coordinate is 3 p0 dash p0 dash for x is minus 2 and p1 dash for x is minus 11 okay so by putting these values you will get u cube u square u1 is 13 minus 24 minus 2 16 so p of x of u is 13 u square cube minus 24 u square minus 2 u plus 16 it lies between 0 to 1 similarly we have to find out for y coordinates p of y of u is u cube u square u1 2 into p0 minus p1 plus p0 dash plus p1 dash minus 3 into p0 minus p1 minus 2 p0 dash minus p1 dash p0 dash p0 so p of u is equal to u cube u square u 1 minus 1 minus 6 8 0. So p y of u is minus 3 u cube minus 6 u square plus 8 u 0 to 1. Here for y coordinate we have to choose p naught y will be 0, p1 y will be 1, p naught dash y will be 8, p1 dash y will be minus 7. And after putting those values, 
we will get p of y in the form of minus 1 minus 6 8 0 okay so remember this so parametric equation of curve is 13 u cube minus 24 u square minus 2 u plus 16 along x along y minus u uh, minus u cube minus 6 u square plus 8 u so we have to put this into point form 0 to 10 so u will be 0 0.1 point 0.2 up to 1 we have to put these values if u will be 0 what we get x of u will be 16 y of u will be 0 in the above equation when you put point 0.1 then x of u will be 15.57 and y of u will be 0 0.74 so these values we will get after putting the u parameter in the above equations and we have to use calcis for that after that we have to plot the diagram so here also you observe that p0 is given and p2 point is given so p0 is initial point p2 is final point so what we did p2 minus p0 for first case that is p0 dash while second p1 dash P2 is the initial point and P1 is final point. So P1 minus P2 is P1 dash. And then we calculate all the points. So it's very easy. Let's solve second problem. A cubic spline curve having end point P0 1,3 and P1 7,2. The two control points P2. 10, 8 and 6, 0 are oriental such that the lines P0, P2, P1 and P3 tangent two curves plot five points on the Hermite cubic curve. Solution again P0, 1, 3, P1, 7, 2, P2, 10, 8 and P3, 8, 6, 0. P0 dash is P2 minus P0. P1 dash is P3 minus P1. Okay. So P0 dash is P2 minus P0. That is 10 at minus 1 comma 3. So P0 dash will be 9 comma 5. Similarly P1 dash is P3 minus P1. 6 comma 0 minus 7 comma 2. So P1 dash will be minus 1 comma minus 2. So here you will understand clearly p0 is x coordinate is 1 p0 y coordinate is 3 p1 x coordinate is 7 p0 p1 y coordinate is 2 okay p0 dash is x coordinate is 9 y coordinate is 5 p1 dash x coordinate is minus 1 and y coordinate is minus 2 so for x coordinate we have to calculate px of u is u cube u square u1 2 into p0 minus p1 plus p0 dash plus p1 dash minus 3 into p0 minus p1 minus 2 p0 dash minus p1 dash p0 dash p0 here p0 of x we have to consider so p0 x will be 1 p1 x will be 7 p0 dash x will be 9 p1 dash x will be minus 1 so after putting these values you will get p of u is equal to u cube u square u1 minus 4 1 9 1 so minus 4 u cube plus u square plus 9 u plus 1 it lies between 0 to 1 similarly for y coordinate same equation but here we have to put p0 for y will be 3 P1 for y will be 2, P0 dash for y will be 5, and P1 dash y will be minus 2. And after putting this thing, you will get the equation u cube u square u1 5 minus 11 5 3. So it is 5 u cube minus 11 u square plus 5 u plus 3. So these are the two parametric equation px of u is minus 4 u cube plus u square plus 9 u plus 1 py of u is equal to 5u cube minus 11u square plus 5u plus 3.
now we have to put five lines 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and 1 we have to put these equations in a px of u and py of u if we put 0 in px of u you will get 1 if we put 0 in py of u you will get 3 similarly you will get all the values okay and then we need to plot on a graph so here you observe that p2 and p0 is a one of the tangent vector and p3 and p p1 is another one thank you so much hope you understand well